guys, it's your girl Nikki D back again today with another video and today's video is going to be a second Shein haul and try on video. If you haven't seen my first Shein haul and try on video, I would encourage you to go ahead and watch that one. This shirt is from that video so if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. I will link it below. Alright, so that video, my previous Shein haul and try on is mainly like loungewear, pajamas and all that kind of stuff like sweatsuits and all that great jazz. This Shein haul is going to be street clothes. So I picked up a couple of tops. I'm pretty sure it's just tops in this video. So in this Shein haul and try on, I picked up some of their street clothes, you know, just regular tops, nothing loungy. So we're going to go ahead and see how those look and then we will try them on and let you guys know how they fit. For reference, I am 5'3", I wear a 42 triple D. I typically wear a size 1 or 2 in Torrid clothing, a 14 or 16 in Lane Bryant. I do, however, sometimes go up to an 18, and in Shein, I wear a 20. So, so that's just a little reference for you guys um, to kind of picture how these clothes might look on your body type if you're around the same, um, but also to keep in mind if you're not as chesty as me or, you know, if you have a different body shape like pear shape or apple shape, you know, all things to keep in mind when you're watching these try-on videos. So, enough with the red tape. Let's go ahead and open the shipping tape and open this big box up. Okay, guys, so while I'm opening up this box, I want to tell you that this is my second time ordering from Shein. My first video, I was a complete Shein virgin. I've since popped my Shein cherry. <laughs> and I have to say, I am pretty impressed Torrid doesn't even come as fast as Shein, and I think Shein's coming from China. I could be wrong, but it shipped DHL. It was very fast, and so far I've been really impressed with the shipping. I've also heard it's free returns now. I haven't yet had to test that out, but something to keep in mind if you're a little gun shy about trying Shein, although I have to say the prices are very, very affordable, and if you follow the size charts, you should be fine. Before I go on, though, I do want to say, if you didn't see my first video, I did talk about the sizing on Shein, and you're going to want to look at every individual size chart on every individual piece that you are interested in. I took the advice of others and did that, and everything fit me really well. Some things you will find your measurements are not going to fall into the available sizes for that item and sometimes my measurements I feel like would be a 3x and on other items it would be a 4x so you do want to do that that's going to be like the biggest thing I will tell you about that site is to look at the size chart on each item that you're looking at there are also uh, reviews a uh, lots of reviews some in English some are not so if you're bilingual that's going to help you out <laughs> look at the size chart you can look at the materials and know if it's going to have stretch or if it's not going to have stretch. So keep all of that in mind when you're shopping on Shein. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys that each of the Shein clothing items come in individual little bags like this. Isn't this so cute? <laughs> Maybe I'm just easily impressed. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this up and I will let you know what sizes I got in each of these items. Okay, so I am really excited to see if this is going to fit me. I was eyeing up this jean jacket on Fashion to Figure for like $80 and I was like, oh my god, girl, you cannot spend that kind of money. I just can't. Can't justify. I'm a mom. I got kids. I gotta put food on the table. So anyway, I decided to see if I could find a similar one on Shein and I found this one. Now, I have been disappointed by denim dresses in the past from Dress Barn, Torrid, Amazon. So I'm a little... Hopefully optimistic that this will work out, but if not, I might have to go get that one from Fashion to Figure, so we'll see. This is what it looks like. I think it's super cute, and hopefully you guys can see what it looks like. So it's got this collar here, kind of like this medium wash denim. It comes with a tie, and I really like the bottom half of this. It's got these pockets down here and kind of like this frayed bottom this I got in a I got this one in a size 3xl all right next up I kind of forgot what I purchased I was in like a I don't know a shopping high everything was a blur when I was purchasing so I do know though that I tried to get some things out of my comfort zone so usually my wardrobe's pretty much just black black and like pleather um so this is like a cropped sweater and I think it would look so cute with like high-waisted jeans or high-waisted leggings, which is why I got it. This I got in a size 3XL as well. And I love this little keyhole here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's got this little keyhole in the front. Super cute. 
this feels really nice. I'm actually really surprised. It's this really nice kind of like dusty pink color. Hopefully it's picking up that way on the camera. But yeah, I'm excited to see how this looks and how this fits. So far though, I'm impressed. It feels like really nice quality for what I paid. So that'll be next. Next up, I got this black peplum shirt with these see-through mesh sleeves. Well, you guys can kind of see what that looks like. And this, I believe I got in a size 3XL as well, but let me take a look. I am a huge fan of peplum, especially for like a short girl. Oh no, this I got in a 4XL. So see, you got to look at the size chart on each individual item. So this I got in a size 4XL. It feels like, you know, it's got a little bit of stretch, but not much. So it's probably why they advised me to size up according to their size chart. So I'm excited to see how this is going to look. I like the v-neck it's a little bit but just you know not too much it's just enough we'll try this one on and see how it goes all right next up this is a long uh looks like kind of like a cable knit sweater and i got this to go with a dress i'm super about the monochromatic looks with like the like little dresses and the matching I don't know if you call them cardigans or like kind of open sweaters, but I've been super about that. I was trying to kind of do something with that, but with a little pop of color for summer. So I got this long kind of cable knit sweater. It's got the, you know, wider knit, so it's going to be breathable for the summertime, but it's got black and then this pop of orange. So hopefully when I pull out the dress, we can see if it matches, but I was going somewhere with it. I had ideas. I had dreams. I just, we'll have to see yeah, I mean, this feels good quality. I mean, if nothing else, this feels good quality, and I'm impressed for what I paid. I'm really impressed. So we will see how that goes. All right, next up, I got this white. Again, it's like a cable knit sweater. Oh, my God, I didn't even realize it has buttons. I'm like, what's jingling? Okay, now the buttons don't seem the best quality. They're kind of just flapping in the wind there, so... I don't know how that's going to go. Quite honestly, I might just want to remove them all together. They're pretty loosely sewn on. But I want to start wearing more white. And I thought I would try this sweater. It's got the keyhole in the front with these crisscross straps, which I think is really cute. I think it'll be nice for spring. And then, you know, again, in like maybe the winter time. But yeah, it's really cute. It's kind of like that cropped length again. And that's what the back looks like. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this looks and fits. This was also in a 3XL. We'll see how these buttons do. If they... I think they're going to get cut off, but we'll see. All right, so then I got, yes, another peplum. You guys, I'm telling you, like peplums, for my body, peplums are your friend. I love this design on here. It's so 80s. I just, I loved it. It's got, you know, like that chain and the brown colors, kind of like the gold. I just loved it. This one also comes with the ties that have the design on it as well. So I thought this was going to be really cute. I hope it fits. I cannot wait to try it on. It's got just like the regular button front, if you can see. And this I got in a size 3XL as well. So it's supposed to be kind of peplum style, but it's looking kind of straight. Uh, just at face value but maybe the uh, the tie helps it give it that peplum appearance so this one will be interesting to see how it looks next up we have this beautiful royal blue shirt here I thought this was a peplum too what's going on okay so so far these aren't really looking how they looked online so this haul may be interesting this I got in a size 4XL. According to the size chart, it's got these lacy sleeves and kind of like this lacy um, detailing on the front of the shirt here on the V-neck. I almost got this in black, but I was like, no, Nicole, you have enough black. You look like you're going to a funeral all the time or like a goth metal concert. So no, you need to try something else. So I went with the royal blue and it's a beautiful color, but we will see how it looks. Now I'm kind of interested. We might be testing out that free return policy, but we'll see. Lastly for the clothing, and then I got one pair of shoes, um, is that orange dress I was telling you guys about. Well, I don't know if this is going to work. 
So I originally got this to go with that cardigan, but it looks, in, now that I'm seeing it in person, it's more of a rusty orange than a bright orange. I thought it was bright around the line, but it's those, like, it's the higher neck kind of dresses. It's longer. I think it goes, at least went to the, uh, the knee on the model, but looking at this, it might be going all the way down to my feet. So it's a good thing I got these shoes because they're platforms, and I might need them for this dress. But yeah, so I originally got that to go with this, but hmm. I don't know if that's going to work, so I may have to look and see if I have another cardigan to go with this or maybe a jean jacket. We'll see, but we will be trying it on. All right, and last up, we have, I was feeling risky. What I don't know, was I hopped up on like, I don't know, I must have been delirious or something, but I, I decided to try some shoes because why not? So I saw somebody doing a review on Shein and they talked about the shoes and how they are a wider width foot, which normally so am I, but they were saying that the foot and the shoe part fit uh the part that didn't fit was around their ankle because they happen to have like chunkier ankles or wider ankles whatever my ankles are pretty proportionate to i guess my body so i don't think they're i don't have cankles okay let's just put it that way so i was feeling a little risky i was feeling hopefully optimistic and i decided to get some shoes because back in the day these styles used to be my jam and i was feeling nostalgic okay so i got these in a was it a European size 42, which I think equated to a nine and a half. And like I said, usually I get a nine and a half, not because my foot is long, but my foot is wider. So I was like, let's go ahead and roll the dice and see how these work. So that's what we're going to be doing. Stay tuned if you want to see how these clothes look on me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the try on portion of this video. Okay, guys. So first up, I have on the jean jacket dress, the denim dress, whatever you want to call it. Um... The jacket itself is not bad at all. It's decent quality. It's actually, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised with the quality of the jacket. The buttons, as you can see here, are actual buttons. They're not like snap buttons, so you do have to unbutton it and button it. So I think, you know, that's kind of a, you know, always a good sign. It's not like super cheap. These pockets I love from the top up. Super cute. I could close the sleeves, but I have them open right now, but they're jingling, so... Maybe I'll close them. There, I closed one just so you guys can see, but I'm going to take this off so I don't feel like buttoning both. But anyway, so you guys can see how the cuff, you know, the sleeve looks, just a regular sleeve. Like I said, from here up, super cute, love it. Now, when we step back, hmm, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. Um, I do like this slit here. I like that it buttons all the way down, but on my particular body shape, I don't love it and I feel like these jean jackets always tend to look better on pear-shaped gals because they're tinier on the waist and then they got the nice curves and it kind of like goes into like a nice little like heart or v shape it doesn't I just don't think this straight style dress works because I have like hips and then it goes in and then like kind of comes down so I don't know about this one but you know what maybe I would unbutton it and wear it as like a jacket over a dress Maybe we'll try that with the orange one if that cardigan doesn't work. Light bulb. But this is that um, denim dress. Kind of give you a 360 view. Oh, this does have belt loops too. So it does have the hoops or loops. So I put the belt through. It does have those loops as guides. So I did go ahead and put that through. Not terrible, but it's not my fave. I'm kind of glad I didn't spend the $80 on the fashion to figure one because if I didn't like it I'd be really annoyed so anyway let's go ahead and try on the next one and let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below next up I'm gonna try these on in the order in which we unboxed them I have the little dusty kind of blushy pink cardigan on and oh my god I cannot believe the quality of this little sweater this is so cute I love the cropped length now, if you're somebody who doesn't like your belly or your lower belly or you know you're self-conscious about that or you're an apple-shaped body, I don't know if you're going to love this, but I actually do love this. I love the length. I love the style. I love the material. This is everything. And, and a bag of chips. I'm super impressed. I can't believe I like it as much as I do. This would look really cute with like a you know, a skater skirt, a pencil skirt, if you're like pear-shaped or 
whatever. You can wear with your leggings, high-waisted jeans. Um, the list goes on and on. The options are endless, so I absolutely love this, and this I got in a 3XL, so yeah, I love the mock turtleneck. This is just everything. All right, next up is this black peplum style shirt. This I got in a 4XL, so remember that, and I'm glad I did. Like, it fits really good. It's got, you know, it's loose enough here. It's got, got kind of the ampere waist. Um, this is sewn so as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, um, it's kind of like a wrap style. So it's got this little part here and it's sewn, which I so appreciate because I have gotten shirts like this from Lane Bryant in the same kind of like wrappy style that have the cheesiest button, the teeniest, tiniest, cheesiest button and my breasts are like hanging out for, it's like hanging out for dear life. It's like, and half the time it pops open, I have to safety pin it or I have to wear like a cami under it or something because... I know it's gonna bust open and it's in the appropriate size but it's like they don't accommodate for bigger chested ladies so keep that in mind I am a bigger chested girl I am surprised at how comfortable this is I think this is really cute it's gonna cover your lady bits if you're concerned about that you like tunic styles what have you if you like peplum style you're gonna like this yeah I'm shocked I'm surprised so far at everything I've tried on the quality has been great the sizing the fit been spot on so you can see the little design it's got these little polka dots in the sleeves and this little cuff I think is super cute and it's not like you can tell like this isn't like super big or too tight the sleeves are very comfortable and I have bigger arms so your girl's mind is blown okay this next shirt is not my fave um I don't even have the sleeves buttoned I'm a mess okay well the sleeves are not buttoned so they're don't mind them. Uh, this one I was pretty sure was advertised as like a peplum style shirt, but it's really not. It's basically like a straight style, kind of straight shirt, and it's got these ties here. And when you tie it, it's supposed to give that peplum, I guess, illusion. Um, but I'm really not feeling it. I don't like I feel like it should have like buttoned maybe all the way then or something but I don't know this one I'm not like super feeling it's not horrible but it's not great I definitely feel like you have to button it all the way up or it looks really weird this is kind of like the first one that I'm not like thrilled with I feel like the advertising was a little misleading maybe I read it wrong but size wise if it's good but as far as the style and how I like it on me we're not really there so there is this one let me know what you guys think about this one you guys I am shocked <laughs> I am really shocked at how much I like this shirt it's not a peplum style but it has just enough flair I don't know when I took it out of the packaging I was like I don't know about this and I believe I got this in the 3XL but all the sizes for each one will be listed below I was like mm, I don't know this one doesn't look like how I thought it was gonna look but I am really pleasantly surprised with this. I love the color. This is, I feel like it's really, really flattering. Like it's got just enough flare and flow. It hugs in a little bit here, but then flows out, you know, at the bottom to hide any, anything you might want to hide. The sleeve length is really nice. It hides the part that I hate the most. And it's got a little bit of a flutter sleeve, so it's so cute. This comes down, okay, but it's not super exposing like if you didn't have the lace it'd be like too much for office you know what I mean but the lace does a nice job of camouflaging and kind of covering that up making it more like work appropriate and I love the kind of cold shoulder but with the lace on top I'm honestly shocked honestly I was like when I put this on I was like I'm gonna hate this and I really really like it so I might have to get more of these but this is how it looks. It comes down to like here, so past your hoo hoo, so hoo ha, cooter, -hoo, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, I am shocked. I really, really like this shirt. Okay, you guys, once again, I am really surprised at how much I like this shirt. It's the uh, cropped sweater, and this is made of 100% acrylic. So, it's got this cropped length. I like the little keyhole with the crisscross neck. It is going to be a little showy for work. 
you'd probably want to wear a camisole like a, a high bra let or something to make it a little more work appropriate if you were going to try to pull it off for the office I don't think I would but you know to each his own so anyway this one is uh, got the loosey-goosey buttons uh, I honestly might end up just cutting them off, but, or I could reinforce them, I guess. I don't have to cut them off, could probably reinforce them. They're not as loose once they're on my arm, but they're still kind of flailing in the wind there. So, anyway, hopefully you guys can tell the length of this sweater. I believe I got this in a 3XL as well. I'm surprised at how you know you would think that these clothes would be like really thin see-through i'm surprised that they are not pleasantly surprised i would still probably wear either like a white bra or like a bralette or something under this just because it is a little bit see-through just because it's white and it's like a knit but i'm shocked i'm really surprised i keep saying that i know it's probably super annoying but i'm shocked Okay, next up we have the orange dress. This is like a rusty orange dress. I do have leggings on underneath, so if you see it, I just have my leggings on from everything I've been trying on. But anyway, this is a 4XL. It goes all the way down to my ankles, so it's really long and, I mean, it's really comfortable. Obviously, you can see my bra here, so I'm glad I went with the 4XL because any smaller, I think side boob would be out of control i definitely don't know if i'd wear this out without a bra on or anything but i feel like it might be able to get away with the bra i don't know but but anyway it goes all the way down to my ankles it is really comfortable really nice and just like easy breezy summer dress now I'm going to grab that cardigan and see how it looks together. Okay, so this is the cardigan. It's a really nice nice length. It goes past my knees, but I'm 5'3", so I'm short. Um, I don't know if I'd wear it with this orange dress, but the cardigan itself is really nice quality. Really long, really comfortable, fits really well, really cozy. Um, yeah, I'm surprised at the quality and how much I like it. It's like big enough to kind of like cross over if you wanted to if you're cold or something like that. But yeah, I really like it. And I believe I got the sweater in a 3XL as well. Now if I'm looking a little taller, it's because I have the shoes on. <sighs> the shoes. Right off the bat, I will say that none of the clothes smelled chemically or funky or anything like that except the shoes. The shoes definitely have a, let me step down. The shoes definitely have a chemical smell to them. You can see where they're like glued. So the quality is not really there. The toe box was also very narrow. So if you have a wide foot, you ain't going nowhere in these shoes because you ain't going to be able to get them on. Um, I think the ankle strap I would have been able to get on had I been, you know, able to get my shoe or my foot through the uh, narrow toe box. But that being said... I don't think I would order or venture out into shoe territory on Shein again. I'll have to stick with my wide width, tried and true shoe sources. So I'll go ahead and gift those to my sister because she's always gifting me things that, you know, don't work out for her. So I'm going to give them to my older sister if she wants them. But yeah, I don't know if I'd venture into shoe territory. Not only because of the fit, the quality is just really not there. And I feel like I'd be afraid that these might bust like while you're wearing them out in public. So, okay guys, so just for the fun of it, I wanted to see what it would look like if I opened up that jean jacket, like denim dress that we tried on and kind of wore it as like a long trench jacket over like a long dress like this orange one. So, what do you guys think? Because I didn't really love it like tied on me just because of the way my body shape is. I'm trying to, hopefully you guys can kind of see the full angle. So it's super long. I mean this coat is super long. But I don't know, I kind of like the denim with this color, like this rusty orange dress. And I know, I don't know, I kind of like it better than having, obviously I wouldn't tie it like that, but I like it better than having the um, dress fully buttoned down and just by itself. But anyway, let me know what you think. Would you just leave it open, kind of wear it as like a long 
trenchy jacket or would you just wear it as a denim jacket even though it's not like the most flattering or do you think I just should send it back I don't know let me know what your thoughts on this denim jacket dress are that being said guys I am so surprised at how everything looked and fit I said that a million times in the video you probably want to kill me but like I'm just I can't like I said I was a, a Shein virgin two hauls ago and now I would definitely go there again and again I would recommend them make sure you check the size chart on each piece and yeah go for it because I am a picky shopper I've been burned by online plus size shops before and I am so surprised pleasantly at how well everything's been working out with Shein so I hope you guys have liked this video if you did please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you have any suggestions on places you want us to shop leave those down below if you liked any pieces or hated any pieces anything you want to know leave questions comments everything in the comment section as well and as always you guys have been awesome thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye guys